Pop 48 shows the small and large intestine of the ruminant. The coils of the jejunum are visible here, suspended by a long mesentery. This is the longest part of the small intestine and also the most mobile part. Which branch of the aorta supplies arterial blood to this region? Within the mesentery, there are a chain of lymph nodes which are particularly well developed in this area to provide immune protection against ingested bacteria. The terminal part of the small intestine is referred to as the ileum and is attached to the cecum by the ileocecal fold. It enters the cecum, which is this blind ending structure found on the right side of the abdomen, the apex of which points towards the pelvic inlet. The cecum is the first part of the large intestine and is followed by the proximal part of the ascending colon which is identical in appearance and diameter to the cecum. It is then followed by the spiral colon in which the coils of the large intestine are arranged into a spiral structure. This is probably due to the large size of the rumen in this species and the space restrictions that occur. The spiral uncoils to form the transverse colon which is followed by the descending colon on the left-hand side, neither of which are visible on this specimen.